I'm sure you've seen a movement emerging in today's digital world. Things are taking place that would have seemed unimaginable just a decade ago. When political correctness first crossed into the internet, and we saw the rise of people getting offended and cancel culture cutting down anyone who spoke out. The so-called red pill movement felt almost impossible, but things appear to be changing for the better. Take a look at how quickly Andrew Tate became famous. There are millions of people who like and agree with his message. You don't acquire such a large following overnight if men weren't crying out for this type of content. Now is the time for us to build on the momentum and take advantage of the growth. Andrew Tate isn't the only one. Jordan Peterson has also been speaking to young men for some time now. But more polarizing individuals like Tate have led to there now being thousands of men sharing the message. I'm not talking about the darker side that the mainstream media love to talk about. Those guys have just hijacked the meaning of red pill or manosphere. There will always be extremes at the edges of any movement. I'm talking about the message showing men how to understand female nature for their own sanity while leveraging their masculinity to do great things, to be better and to expect better in life. Now, if you're a veteran to the movement, then you probably knew this was going to happen. But for all the new guys out there, I'll explain why this movement has been so successful around the world, especially with young men. Red pill conversations used to only exist in the far corners of the internet, where it was primarily seen as a Western movement. But the key message was picked up by more outspoken streamers who started to share it. Videos quickly went viral and guys from all over the world started relating to what was being said. It was the wake up call we all needed, a simple message or guide for men to live by. Most men until now have been too afraid to say what they really think out of fear of being wrongly labeled or canceled. Men these days are often told how they should feel and think rather than actually being asked. So this movement has resonated with so many men and given them the confidence to speak up. Now, thanks to widespread sharing, men from all walks of life are finding out. They understand we aren't just worker drones to be exploited and underappreciated. So they agree with the message, but the most significant reason for the movement's success is that it's a simple handbook that makes sense to a lot of guys out there. No complicated personal development books required. It's a movement founded in reality. Everything is based on personal experience and enhanced understanding of human nature. It isn't comparable to other political movements. It has a purpose. It's not attempting to lead the masses to some ridiculous destination or somewhere where we don't belong. The world has become increasingly feminine and woman focused over the years. In some ways, this has been a good thing. But like any movement that gets too much power, the pendulum inevitably swings too far in the opposite direction. We now live in a world that sees all things feminine as good and all things masculine as bad. You need only look at any modern movie or TV show. Women are always portrayed as together and strong, with men being dumb, weak, lost, or evil. Even movies made for men lack strong male characters. It's left a generation of young men confused and lost as to what it means to be a man. Men need strong role models. We need to understand what it is to be a man and masculine. We need to understand that masculinity is a good thing. It's not toxic. Men these days are nothing like our fathers or grandparents. We are not battle-hardened. We become docile and soft. Men need adventure and challenges to test and build us. We need to embrace our inner monster and to learn to control it. In this space between is where all men find greatness. Young men are crying out for guidance. They need help to transition from being boys to men. But this has gone on for so long that it's not just young guys. Older guys are also lost and in need of mentorship. Women claim to want men who share their emotions and cry in front of them. And yet when they do, they get dumped, as she no longer finds him attractive. If you listen to what you are told about women say they want, you quickly learn, often painfully, that they are walking, talking contradictions. The Red Pill movement is for all of these men. It's the guide for all men in the 21st century. It's the place for men to bond and mentor each other. It's an awakening for men who finally understood that the system has been stacked against them and that the traditional message of go to school, get a job, get married and buy a house and have kids is broken. Most of all, it's about helping young guys embrace their masculinity as a good thing and something to be celebrated. And if he believes and understands this, then it will take him out of his rut and show him a better way. To be more stoic, 
to focus on a bigger purpose than just looking at girls all day, to understand the true female nature and how to manage it in a way that works for both men and women. This is not about hating on women, we love women, but you need to work on yourself first. If you aren't ready or give too much of yourself too quickly, then you risk being broken or losing everything. If society as a whole will not yet understand this message, then it's even more important that you do. For every young guy out there who wants to do something better with his life and make his ancestors proud, it's important that we share this message and keep it positive. It's easy to be angry or frustrated, but we don't want to give talking points or fuel to the mainstream media to use against us. Let's hope the movement starts getting debated properly moving forward. With that said, thanks for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more masculine insight and until next time.